Hi, my name is Matt Corsi, and I'm going to talk to you about a basic fly setup, fly gear setup, to get you started steelhead fishing. Um, I use a single-handed rod. I like a rod in a six to nine weight. This particular rod is a nine and a half foot seven weight rod. I like a rod with a little bit of extra length, nine and a half or a ten footer. It helps uh, with casting further and mending line. And obviously, you need to get a reel and line that match that weight of rod. And so this is a this is a reel for a seven weight line, and it has. Uh, a seven weight line, a fly line attached to it. Um, <clears throat> you can use a single handed fly rod to get started steelhead fishing. You can also use a two handed spay rod, uh, which is a more specialized form of fly fishing for uh, salmon and steelhead in large rivers. But um, you can get going with a basic single handed rod and it will get you started steelhead fishing and you can use it on other uh, fishes as well. Okay. To get started fly fishing, uh, nymphing is a good way to start. Um, <clears throat> and I usually use a large buggy fly, such as this big stone fly nymph, as my primary nymph. And to that, I usually, with a small section of leader material, um, I attach a dropper fly. In this case, we've got a little leg pattern. Now, there's a couple reasons you might want to use two flies. One, it puts a greater variety of patterns in the water to elicit a strike from a fish. And two, um, as this is drifting through the water, these two flies are going to be in slightly different positions. And a steelhead doesn't necessarily want to move all that much. And so you, hopefully you have a greater opportunity of putting those flies right in front of the fish. So we connect our primary nymph to the fly line using a piece of leader material. And the bottom part of your leader is called the tippet. And so we have, oh, about a 16-inch stretch of tippet there that we connect to our leader. Now, our leader connection is right here. It's two pieces of monofilament tied together. And right above that knot, I like to put a few pieces of split shot. And you want to use split shot a lot of times when you're nymph fishing because you're trying to get those nymphs as close to the bottom as possible because the steelhead like to hang out right on the bottom. In this case, I'm using 0x leader material, which is about 15 pound test, to create my leader. And I've got about six to eight feet of that, which I've connected to a piece of butt section that's really heavy duty leader material. This is probably 30 pound test monofilament, and I use that to connect to my primary fly line. And this butt section makes a really excellent place to attach strike indicators if you want to use a strike indicator. And strike indicators are really helpful because when you're nymph fishing, they do a couple of things. First of all, when this strike indicator moves in an erratic way or ducks under the water or stops in the water flow, um, it helps you detect that a fish has picked up your fly. And another thing strike indicators can really help with, especially if you're just starting out nymph fishing, is it creates a little anchor point on the water around which you can mend your line as you're trying to maintain a good drift in the water. And then of course, you connect your butt section right to your fly line. And this is a basic setup. It's uh, almost exactly the same as what a person would use to nymph fish for trout in any other river system. Um, but you kind of beef everything up a little bit. We've got really heavy butt section here, and then I use 0x leader material to make my leader which is about 15 pound test line, and then um, use one or two X tippet material uh, below that. 